So let's talk about Dundee. We kind of need a reaction from our guys now against Dundee. And is Dundee maybe going to be looking to, well, I'd imagine they will be, and it's a silly question, but do you think they're ready to just, do you know what, we can heap the misery on them now. So, Connor, going to Dundee, who do have quite a decent midfield. We need to sort our midfield out to make sure it, it, it goes. Coming into Dundee game, what do we expect from our, our team? Yeah, listen, it's not going to be an easy game. I think, uh, you know, they don't have anything to lose, Dundee. Um, you know, they obviously have secured their top six place. And for them, the rest of the season is just about picking up as many points as they can and, and seeing if they can maybe get above uh, St Mung into fifth. Um, you know, so certainly they'll play uh, that way. They'll come out and they'll have a go, I imagine, um, and, and see what they can do. Um, to be honest with you, I'm actually, you know, weirdly, even though the game should have been played already, uh, twice already, I'm glad we've got this game. Because I tell you what, I wouldn't have liked to have been sat here for the next week waiting until Sunday for the Cup semi-final to be your game to bounce back after that. Um, because I think if there's to be any kind of layover or hangover for that, get that out of the way on Wednesday. And, and, you know, because I think, and, and by that I don't mean I've lost as matter. What I mean is, you know, go and win the game, go and make the changes that need to be made, which I suspect that Big Phil will do. Because uh, he has done that with Mifford disappoint games we've seen him do it after the Motherwell game um, and he made changes in the next game so I can see that happening um, and I think we've got to go up there and show that reaction personally I'd, I would probably start Kamar Roof in, in, in the game uh, on Wednesday against Dundee just purely because with the semi-final coming up and all, all the rest of it coming into it I don't see why you wouldn't give him the nod um, and if you get maybe an hour out of him bring Deathers on for the last half hour or whatever if if, if needs be, um, you know, and I think, you know, hopefully we see a proper reaction and we go up there and put in a team performance and, and get a good result and three points to carry into the weekend because I tell you, you'd much rather get into a, a cup semi-final off the back of a, a decent win than a, a loss like that yesterday. You know, that I just think, get a bit of momentum back on our side again as well because if you take it into consideration, yesterday and last week that's two weeks in a row without a win so it's two games with no wins now six goals conceded in that time um albeit with five scores so i think a nice sort of a game where we can just be a bit calmer with things and maybe let's no go and concede three goals again and, and get a good win before we have to take on what will be a tough task um in the hearts at the weekend i'd be i'd be happy with that Fair enough. Um, and Mark, going into Dundee, I mean, Clement has come under a little bit of pressure, and I think in some cases rightly so. Um, some of the, the, the decisions in, in the team selection and um, maybe some of the tactics that we've uh, been quite easy uh, on the counter-attack against in recent games, I think going from Benfica onwards, I think we've been very easy to counter against. Um, does Phil need to change something? Does he need to change anything the team going into Dundee? Or is it a matter of he just needs to put a rocket up the players? I think he needs to change their mentality. Those mentality is... Uh, um, Team-wise, I think as well, he needs to have a look at that. I, I don't think Dowell's the answer. I think that he's he's too unfit. Uh, and I don't mean unfit as in he's, he's three stone overweight. And, I mean, he's no match fit. Um I think for me, I would have put Raskin in there rather than Diamande. I, I think possibly Diamande might be back. I think it was a, some sort of a broken thumb or something to do with a finger or something like that. That was so we're a bit of luck he can get strapped up and be back out there um, and make a difference. Uh, you really, to be perfectly honest, I think all of us could probably drop every single one of the players in that team. I can't well get pass marks, possibly Sterling when he come on get pass marks. I think the rest of them could so. It really could be a lottery who's going to start this game. Um, I think that we, the, the players, owe us, a, owe us a, a, a result, owe us a performance. I think that that's massive. I think that I think that they need to they need to show us that they're hurting just as much as us. And I'm looking for that. See if see if this we go up there and sneak a one 0 win for me that's not good enough. I really really don't think we need a proper performance, especially going into a, going into this cup game. 
Um, so for me, I'm looking for a big performance. I'm looking for a few wrongs being righted, and, and, and I'm and I'm looking for every single person to have a mentality switch and every day we 100 percent switched on. Yeah, definitely. I think we definitely need something like when we were there, when we did actually get to play at Den's Park the last time, and and the five no spanking. We do need something similar to that. A, a to get us kind of back, not back on side fully, but you know, because I don't think they've lost us completely, but just to show us that they actually do care and uh, to show us that they are willing to fight for the rest of the season. Um, I know we've gone over the hour, but we really need, did need to talk about Dundee a little bit. Um, so we'll just keep going a little bit longer if that's all right for you, with you guys. Um, but uh, with the back four, Connor, um, and your namesake, Connor Goldson, is is it time to drop him out, put uh, Suter back into the right uh, centre back position, and maybe play Balogun next to him? I mean, I don't think Davies is even going to get a look in, so Balogun's the the, the pick by the sounds of it. Mm. Um, and is Ridvan? I mean, I don't know because the presses aren't. I don't think until tomorrow. Um, so if Ridvan's fit, he obviously would come back in. But who goes into the left back if if that's not the case? Well, I mean, firstly, the centre back thing. I think. Yeah, absolutely. I, I wouldn't have a problem with Big Balligan coming in. Because um, let's be fair, he was doing all right um, before his injury. I know, obviously, the, the goal was over the top and stuff, but, I, but that has, seems to happen even with a certain Goldson. So I wouldn't mind that. The only thing is, Goldson, for whatever reason, under three or four manager now, is, is seemingly undroppable. I mean, he will start every game of football is sure is the sky is blue and the grass is green. Um, it's just just the way it is. And maybe that's something that needs to work at as well because, you know, give the guy a rest every so often wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, so I think if Balogun comes in, it would probably be for Suter that he would come in for. Um, although, you know, Rudy Bear makes a good point. I would much, I'd be quite happy to see Suter and Balogun. I just don't think we will. Um, I think it will be Goldson. And Balogun or Goldson and Suter. Um, in terms of that, that left back for me, you know, obviously if Red Van's fit, as you said, he goes in there a heartbeat, hundred percent. He's in there. If he's not fit, then you put Dujon Sterling in there because to me, I I don't want Barris to start games. I've said it repeatedly on this podcast. Um, Sterling didn't do a bad job in that position, I don't feel, um, against Celtic. So I don't see any reason why not to, to put him in there again. Um, it's really the only option we've got, unless unless you really go off script and put Leon King in or something like that. But I don't think we'll be doing that. You know what I mean? I think you'd be you'd be having Sterling in there personally. Um, that's that's what I'd be going for. Um, I'd be I'd be getting wee Rabi a start as well. I think I don't see a reason why not to. Um, and let him, you know, show what he can show. Because see, the thing is as well, you know, if you can get it done deep quickly and get a, a, a nice early start to the game, settle yourself doing decent goals, bit of pace, then I think that helps. We've seen what happened when they went to Parkhead. I mean, they rolled down, let Celtic tickle their bellies. You know, they got absolutely smashed to pieces. Um, and we done the same the last time we played them at Dens Park. So it can be done. But, you know, it relies on good performances and getting at the blocks nice and quickly. So I think that's that's where we'd go. But I'm telling you now, if I see that team sheet on Wednesday night and I see the names Bomber Barisic, Connor Goldson and Kieran Dow on it, my telly will get a bit through it. <laughs> I mean, all three of them together because Goldson's going to start. But, I mean, if the other two are also starting, forget it. Uh, other one, Scott Wright. Oh, uh, I see Scott Wright anywhere near that either. No, absolutely not. I don't, need, I don't even want to see Scott Wright on a starting team sheet for the B team, never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to pick us up. Mark's doing his best to bring us all back down. Um, but uh, just to go up, up, up for the top, because we covered the midfield, you covered that just now, Mark. Um, Silver. Um, flattered to deceive since he's come in. Uh, flashes of, of, of little bits here and there. Um, yeah. But is it time for, to drop him out? And as Connor says, bring in Rabi and let him have a run. I, would, I mean, nothing ventured, nothing gained. It, it can't have been any worse than, uh, than Silver's been over the last couple of games, so I would give him a go, 100%. 100%. I would definitely either 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 Rabi on the left and um, Seema on the, the right or vice versa. And through the middle? We're sticking with Dessers or are we going to go with the one-legged man? I mean, Ruth. 
I think that uh, I don't think Roof starts. Um, I think they'll go with Dessers again. Whether I agree with it, it's two different things, but I think that he's your only fit centre forward. <laughs> Simple as that. Either that or, I mean, cra crazily, there, there is a shout to put Silver through the middle, put Rabi left, see my right, or vice versa. That, that could be an option, I suppose. Um, who knows? In fairness, Dessers has done well when he's come off the bench and scored goals. And the last time, one of the times he did it was at, uh, against Dundee. Uh, yeah. We will obviously talk more about Dundee uh, in the pre show that's coming up on Wednesday. Um, but uh, just before we go, then, guys, um, how big a test is Wednesday for the players? And not just for the players, Big Phil as well. How big a test is it for both of them? Finish up on that. I mean, this is a bigger test as any, isn't it? The reality is that um, this is about can you bounce back for such a poor performance? Can Do these players have what it takes to stand up and, and, and be counted in that game and go and get the three points? Because the reality is, let's be honest here, we all, we all sit here and say after the weekend that, you know, we feel that the league's probably over just by virtue of the fact that we're going to have to go uh, to Parkhead and, and win as it stands. If we do not get a win on Wednesday night, it is absolutely over. The door is slammed shut and the key is thrown away if we don't win um, on Wednesday night. And these players know that. This is, you know, th this is really make or break for our season on Wednesday. Um, so it is huge test and it's a test of our character and their metal in terms of big Phil, it's a test it's a test of how ruthless he wants to be because i seen earlier somebody in the comments mentioned it, and it's a great point you know he hooked todd cantwell uh, and dropped him because he didn't listen to his instructions because he didn't do what he told him to do after the performance on sunday there's a number of them he could hook and i'm not saying he's going to do that but he's he's going to have to make some changes and maybe be ruthless and maybe that does mean you drop a corner goal to and you send a message that nobody in this squad is undroppable if you're not performing and you're not putting in the shift. So but it's a massive test all round for them. Um, they've got to get the three points first and foremost, but I agree with Mark said it earlier as well. Can it be a one now squeaky bum time when that's not good enough? You know, that's not the response you need. Anything to add to that, Mark, before we finish? No, uh... I just probably echo what Connor said there. This is this is a very much a ninety minutes to save what's left of this league. This is, this is how important this is. This is a ninety minutes to prove that they are good enough. They want this enough. Um, massive, massive ninety minutes. I know it's only Dundee, but listen, it was only Ross County um, at the weekend. So for me, they need to they they owe us. Uh, they was a, a, a performance and they was a good result here. Yeah. 